welcome to another episode of the Wellness Kitchen. My name is Tito Ikwimoye. If you're watching for the very first time, I am a clinical dietitian, a culinary expert, and as I would always say, an aspiring professional tennis player. I'm proud. <laughs> On this episode of the show, I am bringing you an amazing, beautiful chef. We go way back. Welcome to the show, Chef Wendy. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Tito. So, Chef Hello. Wendy is the head chef of the Lush Chow Food. Lush Chow yeah. Food. Welcome to the. Thank you, Tito. <laughs> uh -huh. So, what are we cooking today? Okay, so today we'll be making oilless seafood okra. Mm. Emphasis on oilless. oilless. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we have here our already prepared ingredient. We have the um, crabs is um, half cooked already. Mm -hmm. We have the fish, mm -hmm. our okra. We have the leaves. I'm sorry, the vegetables, which is ugu, okay. and then my broth, um, okay. blended um, pepper and um, pepper mix, and then the shrimp. And then we're going to be having a very healthy swallow to go with it, which is the oatmeal. Okay. Yeah. There you have it, guys. So we'll go on a short break. Don't leave don't go anywhere we'll yeah. be back very soon welcome back guys i can't wait to start cooking okay <laughs> so what are we doing next okay um please can you chop the onions for me okay yeah thank you so first i'll be going in with my already made broth okay so i got this broth from the so i got a broth from um my cooked um crabs and then the the next? fish okay so next the onions okay, okay. yes please. how do you want it called dice um dice, <laughs> dice. Okay. thank you right. and then next okay while i'm waiting for the onions i'm going to be pouring in my pepper mix okay you know what people say about pepper you're about to and pepper anyways i'll just be using a little okay. yeah so what's the, the reason why we would be cooking seafood okra first? I mean, I, I like my palm oil. <laughs> so. Oh, well, just to let people know that you can still have a very tasty okra okay. without oil in it. Because okay. trust me, you get to taste it at the end of the day. It's mm -hmm. really, really nice. So, and then I just want this saying that, you know, you have to use, even if you have to use, you have to use a bead. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even have to use at, at all. all. Yeah. Are you so. sure? Because of what course. I, what I know is that, you know, palm oil, mm -hmm. or oil generally, fat generally, is mm -hmm. what gives food its taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we are not removing that completely from the food, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Are you sure it will still taste like our regular? Of course. That's why I have my my look my local Maggi, which is the local spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's so yeah, secret. now the onions is going in. Okay. Yeah. And then we cover a bit and let it cook let for. It steam yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So at this point, we can also add the euro. So. Yeah, locust beans, so you can all cook so together. So I noticed that you did not drain the, the water. Yes. Okay, so what I did was, before washing it properly, I used this little water okay. first, so I can still get that, you know, that taste. Because I mean, most of the times when you wash out the locust beans, trust me, you're washing out all the nutrients, all the sweetness oh, it's really? supposed to give you. Yeah. Okay. So that's another secret. So you wash it first? No, yeah, inside um, with this little water, I washed it. Then I took it out, okay. washed the root properly again, okay. then drained the water so I don't have oh, sand in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that way you retain all the, you yeah, know, so you the taste in, in the water. Oh, yeah. So do you get Okay. So now I'm putting it in so okay. it can cook properly as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's been, I mean, I like Iru. <laughs> Whenever there is Iru is soup, that mm -hmm. has my heart. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so what we um, wait, Abby? Yeah, we wait. Yes. You know, but the good thing is I have almost everything, you know, prepared, like mm -hmm. prep already. Mm -hmm. So the fish is almost ready. Okay. So um, when I'm almost done, because um, the okra goes in last, mm -hmm. basically. So when I'm almost done, that's when I put the already cooked. So um, now that I'm looking at all these ingredients, I mm -hmm. cannot see salt. What's happening? 
Okay, um, we're going to be using bouillon cubes, and okay. trust me, personally, right, I don't use salt to cook. At all? At all. I don't use salt. If I use salt, maybe I have um, a client that wants salt instead of Maggie. Okay. So, instead of um, bouillon cubes, yeah. So that's when I use salt, but I don't use salt to cook. Why? Because bouillon has everything in it already. Oh, really? Yeah, he has MSG, he has, you know, sodium and everything. So. There's no point using maggi and then using salt, packing everything. You know what they're saying now? Really? We really have to be careful with what we eat these days. Yeah, so, that's yeah. So that's why we're not putting yeah. salt at all. So yeah, you hear it, guys. Mm -hmm. With just your bouillon cubes. But then how much, how do you know when it's too much or when it's too little? Because the idea is you put salt, then you now put two, three or four bouillon cubes. I know that's too much, <laughs> but people do it anyway. But yeah. at what point do you know? How many is enough for the pot of soup? Well, it depends. Personally, I keep saying personally because we all have our own ideology of food, right? So I cook based on what my client wants, okay. you know. So I have clients that will say, oh, please, I really just want a bit of, you know, bouillon. I don't want it too sweet, you know. So when I'm cooking, I cook based off what, what? they want. Do you understand? But right now, I won't be using more than two bouillon cubes okay two cubes so, yeah so it, what would you say is the standard for you because people watching yeah they'll be like okay now we want to stop using salt to cook food okay. what would you say is the standard for you okay for maybe this size of soup okay. um if you don't want it too sweet you okay. just want it you know nice nice basically you can use two like I'm going to use yeah. today. I know that yeah. another thing is salt and taste is acquired. If you mm -hmm. grew up eating lots of salt, yeah, you, you would always, get your yes, course. Yes, of and course. that's what I always tell my patient. Because when I say, oh, you have to reduce the sodium content, they're like, the food will not be sweet. I say, eh, eh. No. It's because that's what you have been doing. Exactly. Things. And then trust me, nowadays, people even, you know, I know of a client mm -hmm. that doesn't, I don't use brilliant to cook for them. So At what all. I do is mm -hmm. I have these um, special spices. Just tell us. No. That's that's our secret <laughs> ingredient. So no. Mm. So I can give you a tip. You know, people right now they make their stockfish. They get stockfish. They get dry fish. They get you know, maybe dry crayfish, and then they blend them together. Okay. Trust me, it's the bond. Oh, that's what you use in place of bouillon. Yeah, exactly. But do you now use salt? Right? No, I don't. Just stockfish, dry fish. I just gave fish. you a tip. Let don't tell forget. The rest now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, and don't worry, I'll be very happy to do that. So, don't forget, another thing is we have the grounded crayfish, which also gives soup a very, yeah. very nice taste. The I'm crayfish. sure you know that. Taste. Yeah, so cool. yeah, okay, this is boiled. Yes, Ooh. it's boiled. So, next, we'll be adding our crayfish. Tito, please, can you help me chop the okay? Um, the, yeah, Ugo, and then you know, the um, you know how LD um, Ugo is. Right? I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vegetables so. generally, like I would always tell my patients, mm -hmm. if you're trying to lose weight, if you're controlling blood sugar, blood pressure, vegetables mm -hmm. are your best friend. friends. Yeah. But you know, there are people that say, oh, we don't like to eat vegetables. And I say, mm -hmm. you're an adult. <laughs> you need to learn. <laughs> you need to learn. So we are going in with our um, bullion cubes now. Like I said, I'll just be using two. And you should get a very, very delicious soup. Yeah, here to so, taste it. Don't worry. Trust exactly. me. Exactly. I trust you. Very honest with you. I trust you. I trust you. And don't forget, um, I had a boot first, um, my seafood broth. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was um, the one I got from the crab, the fish, and then the shrimp. Oh, so, you cooked everything together? First. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So the secret is to build your own yeah, yes. flavors, yeah. very important. So now I can be going in with the crab because, um, like I said, I just cooked it for a minute. So, you know, we'll finish it up here. Okay. So, yeah. Crayfish and you, mm -hmm. that combo is amazing. It. And I don't forget, some people also use ogiri. Yeah. Have you tried that before? Yeah. Hmm. I had. I, I, oh my god, it's so so amazing. So, we'll I'm not going to be giving you all this uh, tea for <laughs> you free. Don't have that yet. I know, I know, but 
I've I mean, tried that's why now. We're on this show. <laughs> So yeah, you give us all the juicy tips. Okay, but, yeah. So but this smells really amazing, even without tasting. Exactly. So another thing we can do, we can add to the one I told you before. I okay. mean, the stockfish and everything. Okay. Is you adding um dry locust beans? Okay. Yeah. And blending it. And blending it together. Oh, stocked fish, dry fish, yeah. curry fish, and locust beans. Yeah. That's 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 mm -hmm. really interesting. And don't forget, uh, I think I remember when I was growing up. Okay. At some point, I lived with my grandma, mm -hmm. and I know that she hardly uses all these things. Okay. So she cooks with just iro, mm -hmm. ogiri, all these things, and trust me, when I say. Trust me. I think I am just discovering Ogiri for some reason. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, anyways, yeah, because Ibo's, they, they, you know, most of their soup, mm. most of their soups, yeah. it goes with Ogiri. Okay. Okay. Do you That's understand? True. It goes with Ogiri. The taste is nice. Mm -hmm. Aside the smell, of course, some people cannot stand the smell, mm -hmm. but it's healthy and then at least it's a substitute for. Um, bullion cubes, so then all of these things. I'm gonna try. Oh. I'm gonna try. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you okay, should so try. Is this ready? What do we need next? Okay, um, okay, so I grated some part of the okra and then. Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask because I noticed that one was grated, the other, the other one, one was still in chunks. Okay, don't worry. We'll get there. You know why. Okay, mm -hmm. so just can you help me drop this? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so this is the grated okra. Okay. Okay, I also noticed you've not added any water. Okay, yeah. So at this point, when I need water, then I had water. Okay, so it's yeah. still the So I'm exactly. It's just, it smells so good. Yeah, we don't want a watery yeah, okra. So, so yeah. And this can be eaten with. Um, any swallow of your choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Some people even eat it with rice at the same time. Yeah, yeah, people eat <laughs> Because we are on TV, are not going to see anything like right? <laughs> How can you eat okra and rice? Mm -hmm. How? Some people even drink it. Some people eat it like this. They just, you know. People drink it. Yeah, so. <laughs> so I was going to ask you, now that we are talking about um, okra and rice, what is uh -huh. one of the most ridiculous combination of food that you, you've heard people do, even as a chef? Um, well, to be honest, mm. I create um, menus, so nothing is impossible, yeah. right? But I think, you know, these days I've seen somebody, I think, blend egusi. And then they made rice with it and all of those things. Yeah, yeah instead jolof. of jollof, now it's egusi rice. rice. Do you understand? No, and I'm sounds, like, that sounds kind of interesting. You know, so did when I saw it, it, no, I did not actually. Oh, that I did not. Really, really interesting. Egusi yeah. Rice. Mm -hmm. So did they add like the vegetables and all? Um, yeah, they had it. I think Ugu, they had it, Uziza, and you know, it looked nice. I mean, it's something I would have tasted if I was around the person, you know, if I was right there with them. Come on, trust me, when it comes to food, I like to try anything. It sounds like something that I'm going to try. It's Maybe not going Sunday to be bad. Dinner. Well, call me please when you do. I will! <laughs> Especially yeah. because the gist is from you. Exactly, so please call me when you do. Okay. okay, our soup is almost getting ready. So, um, I had the shrimps. Okay, yeah. Okay, at the end of the day, it's seafood. Uh huh. So, we have shrimps as well. So, trust me, you don't have to. There are different types of seafoods. Um, you can use snail, you can use prawns. This is shrimps. So, you can use um, any choice of your seafood, you know. Can you see? By getting there. And then the taste, I'm um, sorry, the aroma is, yeah. you know. It's coming right. out and yeah. So trust me, you know, I have this belief that anything, you know, you can achieve anything without oil, you know. And then if you insist that oh, maybe you decide that you can cook without oil, then you can just use a little. What is even coming to my mind is, um, mm -hmm. you know, proteins like chicken, turkey, that yeah. really have its own oil. Yeah. How about, because I run away from seafood. As much okay. As I can. <laughs> okay. So I have been thinking of other ways to, to um, do this. Yeah, you can still use um mm -hmm. you can use you know now like I said I've given you a tip, okay. right? That's you know, you don't have to 
use um, bullion, you don't have to yeah. use. So you can still make use of, you know, you, and you know that you can just I get, <laughs> you, can get <laughs> you can get your, um, what's it called? You can get your broth yeah. without using yeah, bullion yeah, too. Yeah, and yeah, 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 so that works too. Then, okay, let's yeah. have the yeah. fish. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. Okay. Yes, the fish. Fine. Our food is almost fish. ready, you know. Yeah, sorry, please. The yeah. problem I have with fish is that it breaks like really Yeah, easy. so you need to be careful, especially when you're cooking this um, kind of soups that you need to stir, yeah. Yeah, but I need it to cook properly as well as, you know, I didn't, I didn't um, finish cooking it before. Okay. Okay, so another thing is, okay, we get there. So this is almost ready. Right, yeah. So let me have the okay, fine. Yeah, because I was mm -hmm. wondering when this was going to go in. Okay, yeah, it's going oh, in. It now. Needs to look heavenly. I cannot wait. Yeah, mm. okay. So, another thing is, you know, like you've asked me why you know there's mm. no water. So, is at this point you can see if you want to have like I a bit water. of water, yeah, mm -hmm. to eat. So, do you need water? No, I don't need water. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah. so you know water. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go on so a short let's just break. Call. Don't scroll. Don't go anywhere. We will be back very soon. Welcome back. Our food is almost ready. Smelling. Yeah. The aroma mm. is delicious. Stop using smell. <laughs> the aroma. The yeah. aroma oh, thank is you. delicious. Thank you. Um, okay, so the last thing. We're adding our, our soup is ready. Okay. You know, let's just add... So we're not you know. adding all that over? Um, no. But it depends on your choice. Some people want, you know, plenty of it and okay. then... But for me, it's just ideal when it's just a little. Oh God, it smells really good. Yeah. The aroma, aroma, Tito aroma. The aroma <laughs> is really beautiful. Yeah. And to think that we didn't have to add extra water, we didn't have mm -hmm. to add oil. So we, we get everything that... Because I would always tell people, oh, I, I know that you cannot, you know, totally remove oil from your food because it gives it flavor. Mm -hmm. Now I know that, you know, foods can come with. Yeah, so, yes, actually. Mm -hmm. So while waiting, um, our oatmeal that we, okay, so this is just blended oat. You know, I'm sure you'd be wondering the what regular is the oat. The regular oat, okay. yeah. So it's very healthy too, you know, now it's high in fiber and all of those things. So yeah, yeah, this water is enough. Okay. Thank you. So I just added water and now we're pouring the oats now. So you know how to make, you know, oats now. So it's just, you know, like you making the oats and then you just keep stirring and that's it. Mm. But yeah. you know, oats has this drawing. Taste. No, it's... Uh, no. So it's not gonna affect no, the... No, that's why you have to keep, then I think you know. it has a, bl not a bland taste. Anyway, that's the point of cooking with a very delicious soup. Anyway. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, I think I'm done. Yeah, so, yeah. Is this done? No, it's not done. Okay. It's almost done. How long do you stay for? Um, okay, so maybe about five minutes. Okay. Yeah, so. So it's not going to give us that eba mood. It is. Oh, okay. Oh, of course it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, just have to stare to okay. let it cook. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while we're doing that, please can you help me while I check my soup? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we want our okra crunchy. We want everything there to be you know, to feel the, and then another thing, some people say, oh, why are you cooking okra, it will not draw. Is it lie you? Oh, draw. Oh, I draw. <laughs> Trust me. Uh -huh. So, yeah, our soup is ready. Okay, sorry. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so. All right, guys, we'll be back really soon for the final episode of The Tasting. 
I'm sorry you're not here to taste this with me, but you can always trust my taste buds to give you the best review. Now, if you tried this at home, it would be nice to let us know if you tried it and what your honest opinion is. So, yeah. I'll see you guys back very soon. Remember, don't go anywhere because you have to taste this with us. See you soon. <laughs> Our soup is ready. Yes, yeah. welcome back, guys. So, the soup is ready. We have mm -hmm. dished the oats, and I cannot wait to taste it. I feel so bad for you guys that you can't taste. But I'm here. Exactly. The chief taster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so our soup is ready, and okay, so. Okay, can you see? Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Yeah, so as little water as possible. Mm -hmm. I don't think that if we added more water, then it wouldn't draw this much. No, I don't think so. You know, sometimes it's really thick, and then you don't want it so thick. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can add water. Can yeah. you see all of that in mm -hmm. my plate? I wish you were here to taste with me, but mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me do the honors. <laughs> Okay, let me have more. People that see me on TV, we think I eat as much in real life. Mm. But. Okay. Okay, let me have a lot of shrimp, so. Mm. Sorry, let's clean up. Yes, yes, very important. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to taste. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oilless seafood okra with oats, blended oats. I know yeah. you're waiting to know how it is, but come in. Mm -hmm. hmm. Drum roll, guys, drum roll. It's actually what really nice. Mm. It's actually, no, it's Thank actually you. really, even without oil. Yeah. I think that what I what I think is that I can taste all of the okra. Like I can taste the real flavor of the okra. I think yeah. oil masks that yes. taste. Yes. I can taste the fish. I can mm -hmm. taste and then sometimes you know you don't overcook okra. That's another thing. So some people tend to overcook yeah, it crunchy. and then yeah, you don't get the real taste anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Alright guys, I feel so bad you can't taste this with me. But see mm -hmm. you next time. On yeah. the same station, cooking something delicious. See you guys. Bye for now because I have to go back to this. Bye. Bye.